I'm always making a push for for uh, for you know pushing at least the, the high level of detail uh, to the to the later stages and, and and so on. But but sadly, I think we are seeing um, an increase in in the required level of detail early on. Uh, we are starting to see a lot more competitions with uh, BIM requirements. We are starting to see a lot more uh, demand on on uh, on yeah high high level of detail early on and and uh, uh, shorter timelines uh, and so on. So it is it is becoming a a bit of a minefield some, sometimes to maneuver in. I think uh, and it's not always. Uh, I obviously need to to make sure I don't sit here and, and say uh, things I shouldn't, but but I think sometimes things are not always uh, you know thought out uh, completely, or, or it's not been been um, at least there's there's a tendency sometimes, or at least you can see sometimes that that the BIM requirements that are on the table have been 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 written up by a BIM consultant who needed to generate or produce a lot of work for himself uh, or herself. Mm -hmm. Um, and it's done for a client that might not know uh, a whole lot about BIM. Um, so you, you sometimes end up with these like mm -hmm. sometimes 50, 100, 200, 300 uh, pages of, of BIM requirements mm -hmm. um, to a point where it, it, it makes no sense. And to a point where when you then ask the client more specifically about certain subjects or certain things, why they want this at this point or why they want this so early or why they need this quantification at that point in time or why they need facility management information already in SD. Um, you know, quite often they can't enter it. It's, it's like mm -hmm. you sit there and you think like, okay, but then, I mean, you, you do know that what you're asking for is, is a major, major piece of work for us. Um, yeah. So it's, 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 that's that's at least what we're what we're struggling a bit with uh, from time to time on, on 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 certain projects at least. I'm not saying that it's like that every single time. And we also have some great clients that are very professional and know what they want. But but we mm -hmm. it's it's it, it is um it is tricky. And and I think there is at least from my point of view, and this is me personally speaking, uh, I think there is a, a sad trend in the industry of of overcomplicating things to a point where. Like, for instance, if you if you take a, uh, a set of, of BIM requirements and, and you have to start out with 10 pages of acronyms and shortenings to even get you started on the document, that's just, that's just bollocks. I mean, that's this, you know, it shouldn't, it shouldn't be, it shouldn't be that complicated to, to decipher a, a, a document. I mean, I, I get that we might have some, some, some weird names and some weird uh, uh, shortenings and, and, and so forth, but, but I, uh, I always get a little bit sad when I see those those sort of uh, documents coming. Yeah, in. well, I, I would say we're in total agreement with this, and it seems like it's an international problem. I've seen uh, re BIM requirements, especially when it's a small firm <laughs> getting started with BIM. They have well, there's a document that starts with like two, three pages of acronyms definition, which I don't think you need. Uh, you could get rid of, and then it's kind of requirement as you say it's pretty obvious that it's the, the BIM consultant that wrote kind of a big generic list and the client has no idea what's go actually going on yeah I, I see that here as well and it, it's kind of a problem yeah it was one of my questions as well but you pretty much uh, talk about it what you think about uh, BIM beyond software I mean BIM norms BIM uh, what I sometimes call the BIM bureaucracy uh, yeah. de dealing with ISO standards and these kind of things. So, how do you do you see it? Uh, I mean, I mean, it's 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 obviously going a little bit back to to what we talked about before as well. But but I think um, I mean, I, I generally like to to make things or do things that make sense. And and mm. if 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 we have to follow a certain standard that 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 truly makes a lot of sense for the project then i have totally I'm, I, you know I'm, I'm totally on board and i have absolutely no problem doing it even though it takes extra time or extra work to 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 get it done um but 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 i what i obviously don't like is to 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 sit and follow x amount of rules and x amount of standards and x amount of, of uh, naming conventions and classification codes and whatnot we have to, to sometimes fill into our models and then only to find out that no one looks at it or no one uses it. I mean, that's just, 
I hate that feeling. You know, I, 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 it, it's, it's, it's the worst possible feeling you can sit with. It's like all that effort and all that work and all those long hours and, and, and long nights you spend are for, for not for nothing, but it's like at least, you know, ah, come on. Um, so, so, and then, and then also obviously it, 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 it the, tr the tricky part is also when, when clients haven't made up their mind about BIM when they hire us and when they, you know, when we, when we um, do the contracts and scope and everything. And then when they realize later on that they forgot something and they try to add it in, but they don't seem to understand when, when things then come at a price because it is extra work. I think that's a, that's a tricky balance because obviously we, 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 uh, we always try to, to, to make things work. And, and if there's something that, that was forgotten and, and maybe it's not so much extra work, then we, we might just add it in uh, as part of our, our current agreement. But, but um, it's, it's sometimes hard to come afterwards and say, oh, by the way, we need Kobe requirements and we need a uh, quantification on top of, of our current agreement, uh, et cetera. And, and, and you know, it, it, those things, they, they just come at an extra cost. And, and uh, I think that's a little bit, um, uh, how to say, not annoying because it, 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 it's, uh, it's obviously not uh, something that they necessarily would have known from, this, from the get-go, but, but at least it's, it would be great if, 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 if we could avoid some of these um, mm -hmm. negotiations or these uh, discussions down the line. Uh, if, if clients were better educated mm -hmm. from, from the get-go on, on what to ask for and, and, and how to, yeah. I, I guess to, to me go it about feels, things. It feels to me sometimes the requirements, it seems like people that don't actually use BIM software but still want to do BIM, they come up with all this system, but they don't actually know it in depth. They don't know how it, it's created in the software and it, it creates this kind of tensions. And anyway, that's what I've found some project. It seems that it's similar to you as well. Absolutely. 